Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor, back for another show and more bone-chilling truth. If you can't load up and come to the Ozarks, then come, take the journey with me. It's July and blackberry picking time is here. So get a bowl of blackberry cobbler, put your feet up, and enjoy. The pups and I were up early this July morning at 4.30 after some healthy food for the pups and coffee and oats for me. We took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks and watched the sun come up. Here at NACA, it's all about teamwork. We appreciate everything. The flowers, the laughter, the rain, the birds, the deer behind the office enjoying the sweet green. The sun rises afresh each new day. Some of us find joy in toil, some in art, some in the open air and sunshine. All of us find it simply in being alive. Life is the gift no creature would part with. Respect and compassion, integrity and character. In the old fable, the tor tortoise and the race. The tortoise won over the hare, not by a single burst of speed, but by plodding on steadily, tirelessly. Character is not attained overnight. A friend relayed a story to me of how we view character. <laughs> that she found by Ron and Mary Bashir, And I found it to be of good humor. The story is told of two elderly women walking through a crowded country cemetery. Remarking on the scenery and the tombstones, the first woman read an inscription out loud here lies John Smith, a politician and honest man. Good gracious, said the other lady. Isn't it awful? They had to put two people in the same grave? <laughs> Our character says so much about us. We've all known people who were not what they appeared to be. People who worked harder on image than they did on integrity. It's still character that counts. Integrity will give you a great peace of mind and an interesting byproduct. Great influence in the lives of others. As Will Rogers said, Admirable behavior changes people's minds and hearts far more effectively than argument. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. But when character is lost, all is lost. When Mark Twain has Tom Sawyer attend his own funeral and listen to the eulogies of people who think he has died. I think he is tapping into a universal fantasy that at our funerals, people will speak of how much they miss us and we will be comforted that our lives made a difference. Each person's life touches many others. If it's not there, it leaves a hole. 
That is what Naka says. Remember, friends, one of my June shows I told you along the western coast of the United States, there are huge groves of red cedars. They're tall. They appear to be very strong, but their roots are shallow. Do you know what holds up these beautiful trees? They lean on each other. Not one of them can stand alone. Sound familiar? When Naka says, each person's life touches many others. If it's not there, it leaves a hole. Friends, we all have a philosophy of life. Whether or not we formulate it, does it end in self or does it include our relations and our duties to our fellows? General William Booth was once asked to send a greeting to his forces throughout the world. His life had been spent in unselfish service. Over the cable, he sent but one word, others. It's an attitude of serving and caring for others more than you care for yourself. A person travels the world over in search of what he needs and he returns home to find it. Love, simply stated, is the essence of life. Love is to attitude as the rain is to flowers. An acorn is designed to become a mighty oak tree, just as you are designed to grow into the best possible you. We all have unique gifts and talents and are here to leave our mark to make a world a better and more beautiful place. If you're wondering where to find your purpose, you don't need to look far. It resides in you. This is why you have heard me say the quote from George Washington Carver. How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, because someday in your life you will have been all of these. Friends, I'm out of time. Remember, Nagi always said, when you're good to others, you are best to yourself. You can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. And if you want me to come to your event, well, I still have my dogs. You know how that is. Remember, it's not what we gain, but what we give that measures the worth of the life we live. Until next time, friends.